Boeing launched its Starliner spaceship early last month, carrying a crew for the first time and bringing two astronauts to the International Space Station. The original launch date was pushed back by technical snags, and now it's looking like the return home is too. But NASA is assuring the public those astronauts are not stranded. NBC's Tom Costello has more. But let's go forward into Starliner where... Uh, On board the International Space Station, astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore are still waiting to learn when they might return home. Everything's been fantastic. Um, the spacecraft is handled remarkably well. Two weeks ago, they provided a tour of their spaceship. And liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V carrying two American heroes. Built by Boeing, Starliner launched on June 5th, five years behind schedule after a series of engineering setbacks. Then, once in space, more problems. Five helium leaks, which NASA says are not a major concern. But more concerning, five engine thrusters shut down as Starliner prepared to dock with the space station. While four came back online, NASA wants to understand the problem before Starliner leaves the station. This is their only chance because that section of the ship that contains the thrusters, the service module, is designed to burn up on reentry. So astronauts Williams and Wilmore's 10-day visit is turning into a weeks-long stay. I want to make it very clear that Butch and Sonny are not stranded in space. Uh, our plan is to continue to return them on Starliner uh, and return them home uh, when, at the right time. There's plenty of food, there's plenty of resources up there, there's plenty of clothing. Uh, they will be absolutely fine for an extended period of time. Before they launched, I asked the crew if they were confident in their ship. Does this spaceship feel like it's ready for prime time? Yes, that's, that's the short answer. Absolutely yes. That's the long answer. For now, NASA engineers will begin replicating the thruster problems, but on the ground in New Mexico. That's expected to take at least two weeks, leaving a return date up in the air. That was Tom Costello reporting there. Now, spacewalks have also recently been postponed due to leaky spacesuits. That is a research project in real time. Yeah, it is. Wow. <laughs>